Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining just how much energy regenerative braking can save you. Now if you haven't already watched my video on regenerative braking, you should probably check that out first to find out how it works. Now, the total possible recoverable energy is the amount of energy that is needed to stop the vehicle. Now, for this example, we're going to ignore air resistance because, just to simplify it, but basically air resistance uh, would decrease the total amount of energy because air resistance is, is going to slow your vehicle down some. Uh, your brakes aren't going to do all of the work. But we're going to ignore that. We're going to say that we have a 1500 kilogram car uh, that's traveling at 100 kilometers per hour and we're going to say that our regenerative braking system is about 60%. There are systems that are much more efficient than this. There are systems that are much less efficient than this. So I just went with a uh, basic 60%. Um, so kinetic energy of course equals one half mass times velocity squared. That's our first step. We got to find the kinetic energy of a vehicle traveling at 100 kilometers per hour with this weight. So or mass. So uh, if you do not understand metric units at all, which sorry, but anyways, uh, 3,300 pounds, 62 miles per hour, and when I get to the end, we'll talk about uh, converting the units. I just didn't want to do energy in imperial units because it doesn't really make a ton of sense. So one half, 1500 uh, times 100 kilometers per hour squared. Now we need this in units of seconds in order to get it into joules. So uh, we've got here one half times 1500 kilograms, 100 kilometers in a, per hour, there's 1000 meters in a kilometer. In one hour, there are 3600 seconds. Multiply across, square it, and we get 578,703.7 kilogram meters squared per second squared. Now, if you're really good with units, you probably know that that is joules. So we're just going to convert this over uh, to kilojoules, move the decimal place over 3, 578.7 kilojoules. Okay, that's the total amount of energy that is possible to recover. Now, we said that our system is only 60% efficient, so we got to calculate our efficiency losses. 578.7 times 60%, we will recover about 350 uh, kilojoules. So, how much gas is 350 kilojoules? Well, in order to find this out, we, ne we need to find out what the energy density of gasoline is. So we know what our energy recovered is, and we, know, uh, we don't know how much mass uh, equivalent of gasoline that would be, but we can find out the energy density of gasoline. So this is basically just the lower heating value of gasoline, which is represented uh, in kilojoules per kilogram of gasoline. So this is just something you can look up in a table, uh, which tells you the energy density of gasoline. So let's check our equation here, make sure it makes sense. Energy recovered equals mass times the energy over the mass, that's the density of gasoline, uh, and then I've added in the efficiency here of our system. So if you've got an ICE engine uh, that's burning gasoline, they don't operate anywhere near 100% efficiency, uh, more like 30%. So we've got to put in our, our efficiency of how well we can convert that uh, energy into usable energy. Okay, so this of course makes sense. Cancel out our mass. We've got E equals E. Perfect. So 347.2 equals mass times that lower heating value of gasoline, which is 43,000 kilojoules per kilogram. We're going to say our efficiency of our engine at producing energy is 30%. So if you take 347.2 divided by these two numbers multiplied together, you get the mass of gasoline that you saved, 0 0.027 kilograms. Pretty small number, but it is actually uh, pretty cool that you can, you can save that amount of energy. So, and of course, with multiple stops, uh, many times it all adds up. So our fourth step, we've got it in kilograms. Most people uh, don't go to the gas pump and say, I want five kilograms of gasoline. That, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. So we're just going to convert it over. So one liter of gas is about uh, three-fourths of a kilogram. So very simple conversion. Just take this number, divide it by 0.75, and that gives you 0 0.036 liters saved every time you stop from 100 kilometers per hour which is pretty cool. So if you stop 28 times, you'll save one liter of gas, assuming you've got this hybrid vehicle with 30% efficiency and a 60% efficient uh, recovery rate. So for those of you who don't understand metric units or want this in English units, we've got 0.01 gallons saved. So if you stop 100 times from 62 miles per hour with a 3,300 pound car uh, and the other variables we discussed, 
then you will get back one full gallon of gasoline. Pretty cool. Or, you won't get it back, but you know, you've saved that. So, pretty cool system. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks.